What's up, guys? It's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Y walkthrough. Okay, so we are here in uh, the town that I am going to pronounce very, very funny. Or, I don't even know. I can't pronounce anything because, you know, your boy Draven doesn't really read that well. Dendemilili Town. That's where we are. Dendemilili Town. Or Dende, Dende Mili Town. See, it has Dende in there, you know, like Dragon Ball Z and all that stuff. So, yeah. Anywho, this place is home to the Move Deleter and Move Remember. Got to keep an eye out for that. But it is snowing uh, quite a bit right here because there is something going on. Something's afoot, and uh, well, we're gonna be take, uh, taking a look at it afterwards. Now, uh, that is the exit right there. But there, are, let's see, uh, something about the word loss always piques my interest. Yes, there is something lost. There is something about this place that just feels lost and all that stuff. Now, you can buy clothes right here. And if you talk to this guy, the Frost Caverns water flows in and uh, the swimming Pokemon looks so comfortable, which is true. And, uh, well, let's see. Let's see. Hold on just a sec. I'm trying to figure something out right here. Ah, there we go. Yes, okay, so if we go, let's see, talk to her. When I'm working in the fields and plowing the soil, I feel like a part of nature. True. Grab this. We are, we got ourselves a big root. And, uh, well, let's go right ahead and move on to the next place right here. I believe this is where you're going to be able to find the move, remember, move the leader. Yes, this is the move the leader right here. Obviously, he will be able to allow or... You'll be able to help your Pokemon forget some moves, that being HM moves. And this lady right here is Madam Reminder. I know every move a Pokemon can learn while they're leveling up, and I can make those Pokemon remember those moves. If you bring me a, a heart scale, I'll make the Pokemon remember the move. And uh, as of right now, I think I have like maybe a few heart scales, but yeah, I'm not looking into remembering any kind of moves right here. Uh, what is her problem? Wind, uh, windmills rotate just like the Wheel of Destiny. So the rotation battles are like windmills. Ah, I mean Destiny. Ah, true. Very, very true. So true. And uh, Mamoswine is amazing. It lived up to 10,000 years of fro uh, frozen ice. True. Okay, now if you go right here, look at this. This is a, a shortcut if you go down here. Slide all the way down and bam, you are back to the bottom. So, yeah, if you guys want to do that, that is quite awesome. And... Look at this. Yes, I am looking down upon all you people in the Demelelele town. And, uh, of course, that will be my, uh, my, my thumbnail at some point. Now, let's go right ahead and see what this is all about right here. If you talk to this guy, he's going to be like, even, it, even when it's cold, I wear shorts. But that's not, the, uh, that's not a facade. This is facade. And he will give you the TM42 facade. Which, of course, it doubles its power if the user is poisoned, badly, uh, or poisoned, badly poisoned, paralyzed, or burned. Hmm, very good strategy. Very, very good strategy. One of the ways that Pokemon trainers make their Pokemon use strong TMs, I know it's a bit sudden, do you, but do tell me. Do you have the TM for Power Up Punch? I think I do. It's certainly a TM for po uh, Power Up Punch. Are you making your Pokemon even stronger by using it? Kinda. Probably. Maybe. But because of that, we do get ourselves a Lepa Berry, which, of course, will help us in, I guess, some kind of way. I don't know. Comment down below, guys. Remember, like I said, I learn more from you guys than you learn from me. And uh, if you go right here. And uh, let's see. Talk to this guy. When things look alike, I try to find the differences between them. When things look different, I try to find similarities. It's a lot of fun. For example, how many similarities do you think Tynamo and Motham share with each other? Quite a few. Some people like Pokemon and and some people like them smaller. Size really does, or size really comes down to personal preference. Huh. Remember uh, remember that lady from the other town who wanted a nine foot, t nine foot, nine foot tall Pokemon? Yeah, size is really a difference. No one will believe that I saw a huge Gorgeist. A Gorgeist. Huh. Gorgeist. Anywho, uh, let's see. There is one more house right here. If you go in this uh, in this area, let's see what will you find. And uh, <laughs> you have a Pokedex. How many of the Pokemon have you found in the Mountain Kalos Pokedex? <laughs> you found 33. If you find 70 or more, I'll give you something sure to delight. Ah, I wonder who those 70 will be. 
I'm, I imagine how many Pokemon should I evolve. And uh, so bad guys are all alike. We'll take over the world. And, uh, okay, all right. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. What else can we do right here? Oh, yeah, we're going to be going down. And, uh, let's see. I guess it's time for us to move on to the next part of this adventure. And that is, I guess, the Frost Cave. So, we got to go right here to this bridge. And from here, this whole area is considered a Frost Cavern. And, again, it is there is a blizzard afoot. And, uh, yeah, we're going to have to, like, use Fire-type Pokemon. Maybe a Water-type Pokemon. You know. <clears throat> so cold. You there. You came just at the right time. Let's warm our bodies with some vigorous Pokemon battling. Ah. Pokemon battling. So here we go. Taking on Hiker Ross. And he is going to be coming out with a Vibraba. And yes. It is going to be hailing. So that is going to be an issue right there. Hmm. Okay. So... Let's go right ahead and use a Sunshunk. Trying to finish this Pokemon off. And there you go. Vibrava. Yes. Eliminated. And welcome to the level 50 club, Starfox. There you go. And, uh, well, I guess that was pretty much it. Wow. Very anticlimactic, huh? Okay. So once you have Waterfall, you will be unable to go down uh, to this Waterfall right here and get that that pokeball but for right now yeah we ain't got nothing like that and uh we're just gonna be battling pokemon trainers as you guys can see that pokemon trainer does not consider our halucha a uh a an actual flying type pokemon so there's no need for me to do anything now we're gonna be stopped right here and this mammoth swine is gonna be like looking at the mountain and this person is gonna be like is something wrong in the in the frost cavern mammoth swine 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 Huh. Are you headed to the Frost Cavern Trainer? This mammoth swine here usually can't get enough of giving people rides at Route 17, but these days it seems to be too worried about something in the Frost Cavern to give rides. Mammoth swine is a Pokemon that loves cold climates, so maybe it has sensed something amiss in the Frost Cavern. And there is a big question mark right there, and you are... Hmm. My name is Trevor. I'm researching the distribution of Pokemon in the Kalos region at Pokemon or Professor Sycamore's request. I see. So that's why you, you're walking clear out to the Frost Cavern then. Mammoth Swine seems concerned about something over there, so uh, be careful. I will. Thank you. What are you going to do, Sensei? I'm going to prepare my expedition. I am going to go in there and uh, capture every Pokemon. Not really, but figure out what is afoot now that painter wanted to take us on and he is now stop right there young sir i'm going to paint your portrait don't budge an inch ah okay alrighty. so let's go right ahead and take on artist salvador he'll be coming out with a smurgle smurgle and uh well star fox is going to be doing his thing right here again hail Make sure to have a nice type Pokemon if you don't want to be affected by this. So here we go. Flamethrower attack. And just like that, Smurgle has been defeated. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah. And Nova, without doing anything, no, or grows to level 45 and is learning Electrify. Now, this move right here, if the target is electrified before it uses a move during that turn, the target's move becomes an electric attack. Yeah, we're not going to do that right now. We're not trying to be too... Yeah, we're not trying to be too... Uh, what was it called? Uh, strategic at the, at the moment. And look at this. Blade grows to level 46. And Salvador has been defeated. Alrighty. Okay, alrighty. So, let's see. There's nothing right here. And our next adventure will be going into the Frost Cavern. Okay, so maybe that is going to be... That is going to be our uh, thumbnail. Mm -hmm. Of course, I'm drinking my liquids right here because, you know, hydration is always nice. And what we're going to find in here, two things. We can't roll a blade, nor we can we ride our bikes, you know, just to preserve the ecosystem right here. And we're going to go with Nacho Libre because it is time for us to, to battle everybody. So... 
Yeah, we're going to be battling a whole bunch of people, a whole mess of them and all that stuff. So, anywho, in the last episode, guys, uh, I I have made a comment about, or towards the very end of our um, episode, about things that they could uh, improve upon once, you know, a remake is made of Pokemon X and Y. Again, I'm still waiting on that, and oh, man, it does not affect this Pokemon. Okay, so, huh. Switch attack to defense. Uh, okay, so none of my moves are going to work. They're not going to work properly against this Pokemon, so let's go with Star Fox. Anywho, going back to the topic. Yes, you know, I, I again, I'm, I'm, I'm all for it because we never really got a third, a third, uh, a third version of this, of this whole generation right here. We just went straight to the remake, which was Pokemon Oraz and all that. And, you know, in, like, there, there was a lot of stuff left out, like, you know, Zygarde. Never... We never really got a definitive version of Zygarde. They kind of pushed it into Pokemon Sun and Moon, and that right there, like to me, it was kind of a waste of like of a storyline into this Pokemon series. Another one that you know, something else that I could say that you know we could we could potentially see or we we would love to see is the Pokemon War. This has been talked about for quite some time. Uh, I don't know if there's one or two wars. It could be the same war. I don't know. The one with Lieutenant Surge and all that stuff. Or, you know, the great Pokemon War, which, you know, made made this into Kalos and whatnot. But we could use... We could see, or we, we do... Uh, we would want to see a... Uh, what was it called? Um, a Pokemon Legends game where, you know, it goes into the Great War with... Uh, what was his name? XZ or something like that. Showing uh, what... Like what he went through, especially before he lost Floet and all that. So that's something you know, key to keep in mind and all. You know, Nintendo, come on, help us out. We kind of want to see all of this. Maybe not in all one version, but some somewhere in between. Now, Nacho is learning Sky Attack right here. This is a two two part attack, which I am not going to use because it, it, you know it's 90 percent accuracy and all that stuff. Plus, can't take away Fly right now. So let's go right ahead and do that. And well, here comes a Golduck. So let's go right ahead and switch out to Nova right here. So yeah, those are those are pretty good ideas right there. If you guys have any other, you know, any other things that you guys would love to see in the X and Y remakes, just comment down below. I would say, you know, if they want to go with two versions, you know, just uh at least have something to finish off. At least have something to finish off with. What's his name? Uh, Zygarde. Because, you know, I've only ever... I've only ever gotten all its molecules one time. Like, all... Like, what was it? Like, a thousand or maybe a hundred uh, molecules? Yeah, I've only ever done it one time. And what... And, like, what got me angry... What got me all angry about that. And, wow, are you serious? Should have been should have been paying attention to that. Good gravy. What got me all angry about the whole Zygarde thing it, once you got the, all the molecules was the fact that you know if you battled with uh, with Zygarde one time, then you know the molecules like a certain amount of molecules go away and you have to find them again, which is ridiculous. So kind of want to see some some kind of a difference, something. I don't know. And well, let's go right ahead and get some revenge for our Nova right here. So here goes. Seed Bomb for the win. Yeah, Golduck. Oh, yeah, he's feeling it. And bam. Look at that. Jordan the Goat grows to level 47 and is learning Horn Leech. Huh. Okay, so Horn Leech right here is a physical attack. The user drains the target's energy with its horns. The user's HP is restored by half the damage taken to, to everything. And, oh, wow. Okay. You know what? Let's go ahead and take away Leech Seed. Okay, alrighty, okay, and that right there, he's going to be coming out with Marowak, so might as well use that attack, see if it actually works against this guy, so let's go right ahead, use Horn Leech, see how this works, and that right there, oh wow, super effective, holy crud, okay, alrighty, alright, so it's a pretty good move right there, I, I, I seem to have remembered one Pokemon 
knowing this move, you know, Xerneas, that kind of Pokemon and all that. So, let's see. Make sure to check all these uh, these slabs right here, too, guys, because there will be some hidden items. And, uh, well, here we are on the ice area. Now, something cool about this, you can actually go sideways into this whole thing. So, just be aware of that, guys. You can go sideways. And, uh, well, let's see. What if I go right here? And, okay. So, no luck right now. Oh, man. I always... Like, my least favorite part of the Pokemon games is anything with ice because it just, it gets, it gets too ridiculous. And, well, we're taking on a hiker right here. Alright, bring it on. Hiker Delman, and he is coming out with a Relicanth. This Pokemon is both water and rock type. And at, at first I thought I was going up against, uh, or I thought I had, I had a Nova on me, so... That right there is pretty cool. Here comes a flying press. Here comes a rock tomb. And thanks to, well, yeah, thanks to our fighting capability, we're not too affected. So let's go with a high jump kick. And there you go, Relicanth has been defeated. And, uh, well, let's see, Rhydon is going to be coming out. So let's go right ahead and use Jordan the Goat again. And, well, let's see. What kind of move will I be using? I bet you anything I know what it is. So here we go. Taking on, right on with a horn leech. Here you go. Look at them big old horns right here. Ooh, man. That would have sucked just getting hit by those things right there. So there you go, guys. Jordan the Goat getting some, uh, some HP right there. And we win yet again. Okay, alrighty. So there are two ways that you can go about this, guys. You can go upwards, which will lead you to the next room, or you can go downwards right here, which will lead you towards this section. And I do believe, yes, you're going to be battling quite a few trainers. Yeah, quite a few trainers. You got to love the Pokemon battles and all that stuff, guys. Okay, so here we go, taking on Grumpig and Hariyama. They're looking pretty, uh, they're looking pretty mean and ready to go. Okay, so, flying press onto Hariyama, and surf attack. Actually, you know what? Let's do this. Let's go ahead and fly, let's be logical, and let's go with a surf attack. And there you go, fly attack. We haven't used that move in quite some time. And here comes the Surf Attack hitting both these Pokemon. Not so effective. And... Wow, Nova, you are getting your butt kicked. Oh, my God. Okay, so let's see. What's a good Pokemon for this? Let's go... Let's go Star Fox. Nova, good God. And... Let's see. We're going to skip this turn and revive Nova. Because... Jesus, okay, he's been taking a bunch of L's as of late, so here we go, revive. Here comes a fly attack. And that takes out Hariyama. And, well, it only put us in a bit of danger against Grumpig, since it is a Psychic-type Pokemon. Nacho grows to the next level. Here we have a Star Fox without doing a single thing, growing to level 51, and is learning Psychic. So, let's go ahead and take away Psyshock. And uh, give it a little bit more of a boost. Now, if Psychic is the definitive Psychic type move with 90 power, because there's always one with like, <coughs> there's always an elemental move. Wow. Yeah, there's always an elemental move that, what was it called? Um, that, that has a high power of 120, I believe. 120, 150 with 70 accuracy. I kind of want to know what the psychic type moves, uh, the, the definitive move for that one would be. Comment down below, guys. If they've already came out with it in Generation 8 or 9, then just let me know. And, well, here we go again with another flamethrower attack. <coughs> we take liquids. Mm -hmm. And just like that, we have won yet again. And, well... That right there gives us some more points, so 
and more, I guess, more monies. Let's go right ahead and heal up our Pokemon, especially Nova. Hmm. I guess I should really, like, I should check in on what, what are, <coughs> what are Nova's final moves. That way, you know, I can finally evolve it into its uh, final, into its final form. Let's see, I, I do have, I think I do have a Sunstone, I just haven't checked or something like that. Let's see. Going into this one. Hmm. It would seem that I don't have a Sunstone, huh? Huh. I don't have a Sunstone. I thought I did. Yeah, like, I, I thought I had a Sunstone here lying around. Huh. So it looks like we're going to have to wait for just a little bit. Okay, so that's, that's no biggie right there. And uh, we're going to be battling some more trainers. All right, let's go. Right here. And here we have a Black Belt Alonzo. Now, I would get why... Like, I do get why some of the Black Belts are hanging around here. You know, Fighting-type Pokemon. Easy. Easy wins right here against Ice-type Pokemon. So let's go straight for a Flying Press. And that right there takes away Scrafty. Oh, yeah. Say goodbye to Scrafty. All righty, all righty. And here comes Jordan the Goat leveling up at level 48. Blade grows to level 47. And Throw is coming out. Let's continue on. And Throw is a pretty bulky Pokemon right here. Looks like to us we're going to have to use two Flies attacks just to, just to beat this Pokemon right here. Okay. All right, here we go. Fly attack. Oh my god, nearly did it, and here comes a rock slide, and thankfully, you know, fighting type capabilities kind of prevent any kind of super effectiveness, so here we go, flying press for the win, and bam, there you go, throw has been defeated, and there we go, another victory force, yes, we are just moving along, being the goats here in the Pokemon world and all that crud, and uh, well, let's see, before we, we progress, let's go straight back into this whole area. Again, like I said, Ice Labyrinths are not my are not my thing around here, especially in Pokemon. So let's go right here. Did I do it right? Yes, I did. And all you got to do is go upstairs. And here you'll be able to find yourself an Ice Heal, which is great. And I thought there was something right there. So it never hurts to, it never hurts to look, guys. And, well, let's go right here and finish off our little adventure. There are quite a few other areas that you can find, like this person. Yahoo! I finally meet eyes with someone else in this freezing cave! I mean, there was a guy, like, literally right behind me. Ugh, never mind. People these days, they kind of, uh... I, I don't get people sometimes. So, here we go, taking on Sock. Let's go with a fly attack right here. And fly attack is gonna go for the win. And that nearly defeats Sock, but it has its sturdy. And here comes a poison jab attack. That hits us pretty hard. Let's go ahead and give it a taste of its own medicine. Poison jab. Yeah, buddy. Didn't think I had that, huh? Yeah, okay, alrighty. And, well, let's see. She he, She's about to come out with a mind shower, so let's go back to Star Fox right here. Let's go ahead and uh, do some things, you know. Finish up some stuff. Get the victory. Alrighty. So mind shower is looking all mean and everything with its uh, cool mustache and everything. So let's go straight for a psychic attack. And just like that, mind shower defeated. Alrighty, and uh, well, there we go, getting some more points, and just like that, guys, we get some more monies, and well, let's see, now you can surf right here, but I am choosing to, well, actually, let's go ahead and surf, because there might be an extra place right here, there might be an extra place in this particular area, Yes, okay, so there is a secret place going down here. And as you guys can see, you touch this stone or this big old rock, 
covered in ice, it makes you freeze, you level up an Eevee, and bam, you get yourself a Glaceon. And here we get ourselves an Icy Rock. This item, if you hold it to a Pokemon who has Hail, will will actually exp uh, extend the whole Hail attack from beyond its 5 limit term. And, uh, well, let's go right ahead and continue on. Do some stuff. Do some stuff right here. And battle some more Pokemon trainers. Now, let's go ahead and switch out our Pokemon. Nacho's do doing some work. Let's go with uh, Blade right here. Nova, I don't know. Nova, you kind of, you, 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 you've been taking some L's right here now. Let's see, let's go ahead and grab this, this item. And here we found ourselves a Max Repel. So far, we haven't gotten attacked by a Pokemon. It's kind of a, it's kind of surprising. And here, we're going to be going downstairs. And you're going to be finding two trainers plus a Pokemon. And this is the first one. Yeah, this is the first one to attack us in since we since we got here. So we are going to not battle this Pokemon because yeah, the, yeah, we 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 don't need that right now. Let's go ahead and uh, not battle her. Grab this. We found ourselves a Hyper Potion. And well, let's see. Let's make a uh, a Bivouac, Bivouac, so we can rest uh, and restore our Pokemon's health. Huh. Bivouac? What the heck is that word? Comment down below, guys. Alright, so we healed up our Pokemon. And, uh, well, let's see. Here we are taking on a Bear Tick. Now, it's, it's a pre-evolutionary form. It's a little bit rarer to find, but you can find it in Hordes, which is cool, too. And talk to this guy. Oh, no! I can't feel my toes! Gotta get that checked, homeboy. Okay, so here we are, taking on Hiker Allen, and he will be coming out with a Graveler. Let's go with a Blade right here. And Blade, go with Iron Head Attack. More than likely, the Graveler has Sturdy, which it does. As you guys can see, it has Sturdy, and it will come out with a Bulldoze. To my surprise, this Pokemon doesn't have Levitate, so that kind of just messes everything up right here. So let's go again. Iron Head yet again. Okay. So as you guys can see, bam, we are victorious. Nacho is the next the next uh, member of the level 50 club. Moko grows to level 44. We're going to continue on right here, going up against, uh, you know, Rock-type Pokemon. And you know what? We're going to do something different. Let's go with Rock Smash. Taking away its sturdy. And... There we go. Its defense has gone down, and here comes a bulldoze attack. Ridiculous. Okay, and, well, our speed has gone down just a little bit further, so let's go straight for your iron head attack. And here comes the layeth the smack it down on our candy. You know what? But here comes the iron head attack for the win. Say goodbye to Graveler. Yeah, buddy. Okay. And Nova grows to level 47 without doing anything. Here comes a Carbink. Carbink is a uh, interesting Pokemon. I actually thought Carbink was a fairy type Pokemon. I actually thought Carbink was uh, what was it called? Um, a legendary Pokemon or a Mega Evolved? I don't know. I, I just I must be smoking some weed or something. I don't know. I don't do that. So here we go. Leech Seed or Leech Horn, and there you go. Carbink defeated. And. Well, Alan has been defeated, and from there, we're going to be moving on to the next the next part right here, and do check thoroughly, not for the Pokemon, but for, you know, what you can find right here, and, well, right here, you're going to be, fall you're going to be finding Carbink, or Bergmite, Bergmite is a pretty nice Pokemon, it will evolve into a bigger Pokemon, but I'm not going to do that, uh-oh. Ice type Pokemon are just like very, they're cool and all, but they're frail. They're very, very frail. They have a lot of weaknesses, to be quite honest. And well, let's go right ahead and use a max repel. We don't need that mess. And again, check thoroughly. Right here, you'll be able to find yourself a super potion. And from there. 
let's go right ahead and figure this whole labyrinth out. Ugh, good gravy again. Like I said, guys, labyrinths, ice labyrinths are not my, my forte here. And before we, yeah, before we battle that chick, let's go ahead and do this. Heal up our Pokemon. And let's see. Let's go right ahead and switch it out to Star Fox for the win. And see what she's all about. I probably shouldn't praise my pupils so openly, but her Pokemon have gotten so strong. I'm very proud. Huh. I'm very proud, too. Anywho, here we are taking on Gabrielle, and she is coming out with a Medicham. Of course, this Pokemon is both a Psychic and Fighting type Pokemon, so yeah, it's going to be a hard thing to do. Let's go Flamethrower Attack. And that right there nearly beats it. But here comes a Shadow Ball hitting us hard. So yeah, we're <laughs> we're definitely uh we're definitely in for a battle right here and flamethrower for the win. Say goodbye to Dulcim. And bam. Hello, level 52. Star Fox is kicking some butt, taking some names, and Gabrielle has been defeated. Alrighty, okay. Alrighty. Anywho, let's go right ahead and see what this is all about. Actually, first. First is first. Uh, how about right here? There could be something here. No. All right. Let's go down here. Again, lots lots and lots of mysteries. Um, there is an item right there you can actually retrieve. So let's go grab that. Here we found ourselves a zinc. And let's grab this. Nothing. Okay. Again, be thorough about everything that you find right here. You'll find a secret entrance to this location. And this right here is where I learned that you can go sideways, guys. Because it's impossible to go left and right and get to the item that you need. But if you go sideways, which it won't let me, right here, bam. That is how you get it. First time ever, you know, you can go sideways on, 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 on this place right here. So, there you go. Got ourselves Frost Breath. And now, going back to our regularly scheduled program. And, uh, let's see. Going back right here. There is a hiker waiting for us. There is an item waiting for us right there. And, bam. Here we are. Getting ourselves an ether. And, well, let's see, that's not the right way to go. Down here. Oh, wow. Again, you got to be very specific on the circle pad. Just to get to those, those little locations, as you guys can see. Bam. Alrighty. Here we go. Taking on Hiker Brent. And here he's coming out with a Probo Pass. This Pokemon right here is a, it's a big old Pokemon. And let's go straight for a Psychic Attack. And just like that, we take a, we don't take a lot, but this Pokemon is, yeah, it's a defensive powerhouse. So we're gonna have to switch this out right here. Let's go with Jordan the Goat. Alrighty, Jordan the Goat. See what. See what he's all about right here and well here we go again and this is a charge beam i think oh no 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 discharge and well of course we're gonna get paralyzed because well yeah yeah so let's go right ahead and use a horn let's go ahead and use a horn or one of those horn attacks and stuff And, well, it is still a Steel-type Pokemon. I, I, wait, is it a Steel-type Pokemon? Completely forgot about that. And here comes a Power Gem yet again. Oh, my God. This Pokemon will not go down. And there you go. We're healing up our Pokemon. Yes. Okay. All righty. So, bam. Bam. There we go. Jordan the Goat grows to level 49. And Star Fox getting some points without doing anything. Blade grows to level 48. Mm-hmm. 
we are victorious. Okay, so let's see. We got to heal up our Pokemon right here because this is ridiculous. Getting paralyzed every so often. Going with one of the few par paralysis heals that I have here. And there you go. And there you go. Star Fox getting some, getting some much needed uh, stuff right here. And, well, let's see. Actually, we do have the Pokemon for this. All right, let's battle this guy. The secret to karate is to have a good circular movement. It is. That, that, that is kind of true in some types of ways. I was uh, in karate at some point. So here we are taking on Gerger. And, well, let's see what Gerger can do. All righty. Gerger, take this psychic attack. You're about to lose. Okay, alrighty, alrighty. And just like that, Girder has fainted. And, well, getting some more points. And that is a victory for us right there. And, well, let's see. Anything else? Nothing. Okay, so let us move on to the main, the main course right here. So as you guys can see... Team Flare is up to no good yet again, and, well, this guy is like, it's really cold in here, isn't it, Sensei? Is there something going up ahead? Yeah, there is, and, well, as you guys can see, this Obama Snow is a fine specimen. It's absurdly brimming with energy. The more we agitate it, the stronger its snow warning ability becomes, making the snow fall even more furiously. Let's catch it swiftly and get out of here. Snow! Hmm. We're here. Stop right there, and hey! Oh, okay. Hey, you Pokeball thieves, what are you doing here? Turn around and, well, what does it look like? We're catching Pokemon. Why else would we ha have grabbed all those Pokeballs? It was all we could, ca uh, could catch a uh, powerful Pokemon like Obama Snow. It's full of potent energy. Energy? You're not the brightest one, are you? Whoever has the most Pokemon and the most energy will come out on top. Lazy people who just wait for things to be handed to them don't get to have those resources. But why is Team Flare amassing Pokemon, energy, and money? To put it another way, why is Team Flare always trying to take uh, everything for itself? Allow me to spell it out for you. It's so Team Flare and only Team Flare can survive. After all, why should we care about saving people who aren't on our side? Anyway, I don't mind a healthy curiosity, but I am afraid I am just going to, uh, I just don't have any more time for you. Sensei, did they say only Team Flare will survive? These people are, have a few screws loose. You two, hurry up and send those kids packing. Okay, yes ma'am, right away. Let's go Team Flare. This is the trademark pose of Team Flare. It's a very definition of fashionable. I guess, I don't know. Alrighty, so here we go. Let's get it. Taking on Team Flare, and, well... Let's go with a Psychic Attack. Right here. For the win. And look at that. That is a victory. If I didn't see a victory in itself. There we go. And, well... Let's go again with a main neck trick. And, well, we're going to continue on right here with the same Pokemon and well let's see let's go right ahead and do another thing with a psychic and well there you go and just like that psychic attack for the win Moko grows to level 45 and just like that it's easy easy stuff and well that is a victory for us but now look what happens here I may have lost. I may have lost, but isn't this Winter Wonderland beautiful? Almost as beautiful as the Team Flare pose. And, uh, well, after defeating them, we're going to take on the admin, I would like to say. Hmm, you're more powerful than you look. I wonder how much energy there's inside of you. Okay, so here we go. Taking on Team Flare Mabel, and yes, she is going to be coming out with... Her very own Hound Doom. So, Star Fox, let's go. And this is a type disadvantage at the biggest level because, well, you know, Hound Doom is a dark type Pokemon. So, we don't want that. We don't want that on Star Fox. So, let's go right ahead and switch it out. Go with Nacho Libre. 
And here comes an embargo attack. And that right there won't do much to this Pokemon. Well, except for the items. So let's go straight for a high jump kick. And just like that, Hound Doom. Victory is but certain right there. Star Fox, level 53. And, well, Team Flare Mabel has been defeated. And she's, yes, she's acknowledging us. We're too strong. We are very, very strong. Hmm. I have had, I have no patience for losing. Let's get out of here. Hmm. Okay, well. Doesn't battling with Team Flare scare you, Sensei? I'll admit it scares me. I don't like battling them. But we managed to protect the Bomb of Snow by pitching in, in here. I know I'm the reserve type, and I'm okay with that. But it's important to be bold in the, when necessary. Mamoswine doesn't have to worry about Bomb of Snow anymore, and that that's what matters. All's well that ends well. I guess so. Now, once you're done, go ahead and take a look at a Bomb of Snow right here. And it's going to be like, Snow! What's this? It looks like a Bomb of Snow wants to give you something. And here is where you're going to get the Abomasite. Yeah, that's uh, the Mega Evolutionary Stone for Obama Snow. And that right there takes care of uh, that little situation. Now, I wonder if I could use an escape rope right here. Because uh, I don't want to go through all this. Yeah, I don't want to go through all this, uh, the hoops and ladders and all that stuff. So let's go ahead and use this. And yes, we can use an, es an escape rope. Okay. Here we are back and look at the sight look at this guys that is a beautiful sight wow isn't Kalos a beautiful region maybe i don't know so that is that concludes our episode right here on the whole abomaso and uh, frost uh, the frost cavern in the next episode we're either going to go into that haunted place or go into the next route here next to the demilele town i love saying that word and, uh, well, other than that, guys, I just want to say thank you guys for being patient, as always. Thank you guys for subscribing and being supportive, as, as always, too. I'll be back for another episode of our Pokemon Y walkthrough. See you guys.